friends, welcome back to another episode of All Things Cut and Craft. I am Abiola. If you are new to this channel, I want to especially welcome you. Thank you so much for consider watching this video. I'm very grateful. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this label for my cereal container. So I made it with just shapes and um, text on Cricut Design Script. So if this is what you want to watch, you are interested in watching, keep watching, don't go anywhere, and I'll be back shortly. The materials for the project are, first, this um, Matteo White sticky project paper is compatible with electronic cutting machine. If you have an inject, and this is how it looks like. From the package just got one out for the project and we also need a cereal container I really like this it takes about 21 cups of whatever you're putting inside and um, I got this from Haldi it has a lid just at that corner which I really like so this is one of the things that um, I got from Haldi some time ago so and it's BPA free so I'll just remove the label that came with it so that is how I do that I don't want the label I remove it like so then I prep it ready for my own label yes so other things I will need um, the Cricut tools as always the weeder and I also need a mat this is the strong grip mat so you can use the standard grip mat and I have my sticker paper too so let's go to design space and let me show you I went about the design so this is design space you want to go to shapes then pick the heart shape you also want to go back and pick a square so I pick a heart and a square shape and then I expand it enough so you can see um, clearly. So now you go to the unlock button, it's click the unlock button so you can manipulate it the way you want Then you want to select both, select both then go to the slice button. So when you click the slice button, it will slice it for you. So now I'm separating the result of slicing. So as you can see, I don't need that. Then I delete it. I deleted the two and I have this left. I mean deleted three, then I have this left. So I want to select another square. I selected another square. Then I want to also reshape that yeah so this is just me imagining how i can create a label and i went about that just using everything on my design space so i tried duplicating this so um i'll be able to use in several ways so after doing that i just turned this around and then um, I kept manipulating it in a way that I know it will suit me. So I reduce the size. You can reduce the size. You can turn it like um, invert it, flip it. You can do as many things as you want on design space. So I did that. I just wanted to create a square in between. So this is where my square will be going so i wanted to create the same size of the shape that i have sliced out so i turn that all the way down so i also place it there then i size it into the other size so here i have it um, i also did um, reduce the more and you can also play around with all of this on pre-cut design space and come out with your own design so this is how it came out so i attached this at this point and i brought the square in between and here i have it 
this can also make a flower for you so that is how you create your design with shapes on the design space so after doing that i selected hole then i weld it as you can see they came out as one welded together so that is the um the work of the weld i mean the the, the weld button when you put everything together they will come out as one you can shape it as you want expand it reduce it flip it just play around with it until you get your desired result so i love it i like how it came out at this point then i went ahead to just click um another button which is the color button and i change it to green then you can also click whatever color you like and i went back to change it to white and black so i was just playing around so now it's time for me to add the test so i went to the test icon then i chose the one on my system because i, I am not on um the access cricut access so i went to my system have some design there already so i chose one then i type um whatever i wanted on it so this i really like it and i kept changing it and playing around with it so this is how i link cricut design space i just play around with it then whatever i like i kind of save it so this is rice and i place it on my design so i just move it around reduce it unlock so i can expand and do everything i need to do and if you check the icon up here you can see that yeah there are a lot of things you can do up there that will make your design come out as you want it after doing that i selected both and then i slice as you can see this is also slicing so i slice this will make this come out like so because this is a print and cut project so i went back i undo then i wanted like a white um background around the design so i undo whatever i have done then i duplicated the original design so that original design this is it so I, I i went to duplicate it like so then i chose the white color for it and i duplicated it also for subsequent um writings so i won't have to um go back and start creating it again so you can duplicate you can undo there are lots and lots of things you can do on design space as i've said the more you play with it i mean the better you learn more about it so i set that aside then i went then select then i slice again just to do what i did previously so after slicing then i chose one of the design went to my color and chose the white color so i wanted a white background around my design as you can see it really came out nice so this is what i wanted and i also wanted the rice not to be sliced out i wanted it on the design then i flattened so when you're doing print then cut you want to flatten your design so that is it i click make it then it took me to another page which is the dialogue page i have to choose some things some of these things on math or no math and i have it ready to be cut out so this was how i made my design then i also did it for every other um, design which is uh, me every other food the rice the conflict the holds and every i think i made about 18 of these in different sizes so the only thing is i was just duplicating my design then putting my text on it then attaching it then flattening it then choosing the color so you may not see the white color around it but after 
printing this it came out just the way I wanted it so I just tried to duplicate this design as much as possible so I'll have um, a lot to work with and I will not have to start designing all over again so and then I added a lot of text down so I have my text also ready to go on top of the designs I have duplicated so after then just to show you what next i sent to printer and if you have already printed you click i've already printed then now you want to set your material click browse all material then look for the material you are using for the project and then you can also search search your materials type just the material printable then you want to choose which one applies to you there are a lot of printable here fabric for iron so i chose the printable sticker paper because that's what i'm working with and um, you also want to set your pressure maybe default or more or less so just to show you so i did this and i went back to add more to my sticker paper so i will maximize it and here i have it printed out just as I want it so I place it on my mat for my Cricut maker to cut out for me this is a good time to so smash the like button if you are enjoying the video and if you need any supplies or want more videos check in the description box I have videos and um links to where you can get supplies to get started with Cricut so and if you have any question or confused about anything do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section I'll be glad to read from you and I'll definitely respond to all your questions and concerns so while cutting I want to place my light close so it helps Cricut Yes, so this is my canister, my cereal container. I'm trying to clean it with alcohol and the paper towel. I put my paper towel and my cut is done. So I prepared my container ready for this so it's dry. So you want to flip your mat over then remove that. Oh, I think I I I I ripped that while I was removing the part that I do not need. So this is it. So this is how it came out. I really like the final outcome. This is what I actually wanted. I want the white border around it and made it really nice. It came out beautiful. So that would be for my rice and i also have so many other food i also did another one i think i made about 18 of this sticker for all of my pantry organization and as you can see from the picture they're really nice they came out nice so this is how i made it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you do do not forget to give it a like share and then subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos like this coming your way so that is everything arranged in the pantry and ready for me to have my fire wheat flour white flour rice spaghetti a pando yam, cornflakes, my local food, and a whole lot of food. And these are the tiny ones I did the chia seed, flax seed, sugar. So I'm ready for my pantry to be well organized. I really do like how they all turned out. If you enjoy watching, please don't forget to give this video a like and um, share with friends. Leave your comments. What do you think about this? Is this what you can do? And then if you have any question, feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'll be there to attend 
that's your question. And as I've said, if you need any supplies, they are right there in the description box. Check them out. They'll be delivered to you at no additional cost to you. And the videos to get you started, if you're a beginner, are also there in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is your friend telling you to create your own happiness because it's in your hands. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.